Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this dainty lacy seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step how I'm making these elements and I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies and a link to my store and also a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Okay, and something else I wanted to tell you is that if you change colors this is what you could came up with if you like this one better do it this way okay thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i need for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o beads or larger or smaller and here i use lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring you could use any type of clasp you like this is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to put about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start the center of my flower with herringbone stitch. And I'm starting it with two blue beads. I slide those down, stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot, okay? If you're not familiar with the herringbone, it's really easy and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make it. So I'm making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And now you see how my beads lay next to each other, okay? And I will go through one of my beads, exiting out of one of them, I'm going through the other one, okay, and I pull, and you see what I have, and now I'm going to take two blue beads, and as I'm exiting from this blue bead, I'm going through the other blue, and I pull, Okay, just like that. Then I'm going through those two blue beads in this direction. And I have my second row of herringbone stitch. Okay, I take two beads, go back through one of my blue beads. Then I pull my thread in this direction and I will go in these two blue beads, just like that, and pull. And now, guys, I have three rows of herringbone. And it is absolutely the same thing. Take two blue beads, go back through this blue, pull, go here, and then again back through this in this direction. I will show you one more row. Okay, two blue beads, go back, fix those two, go in this direction and go back again to be in the position of your next row. And now guys, I have five rows and I need 24 rows. So make your 24 rows. I will do them off camera and I'll be back to show you how to continue. Stop this video, do this and see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm back with my 24 rows. Okay, and I wanna connect them to make a beautiful circle of herringbone, okay? I'm exiting out of this blue bead here 
out of this one and I want to connect it to the opposite side okay like that okay and as I'm exiting from this one here I'm going here in my opposite beat okay so when I pull I have this two of my beats are connected and then guys what I want to do is go through the other blue beat through this one and then I want to go through the one of the opposite side and I pull just like that then again I'm going through this one here back in this direction okay like that and now those beads here are connected you could go several times around them just to be sure everything is nice and tight okay then guys in my next step what i want to do is go here in the center of my work you see where i'm going in the center between those four beads here four blue beads exactly in the center like that okay and i pull now I'm here inside my circle okay okay my thread is here inside my circle and what I'm going to do is take one pink seed bead and as I'm exiting from this hole here I will go in the neighbor hole in the next one okay you see where I'm going I exiting of one of my holes I'm going in the next one okay and now I have this pink attached to the inner side of my circle. And now you see where I'm exiting out of these blue beads, okay, in the center between those four beads. And what I need to do is white, pink, white, okay. I have this on my needle. And I'm not going in the next hole, but in the one after that. So what I do... Is as I'm exiting from here I skip one hole and go in the following hole and I pull okay so now as I'm exiting here between those two blue beads I'm taking one purple and this time I'm going in the following hole so when I'm going in the inner circle, I go through the following hole. And when I go through the outer circle and I add three beads, white, pink, white, I skip one hole. So I'm exiting out of here and I skip one hole and go in the following. Okay. Then here I take one pink and go here in my next hole without skipping anything. Okay. Then white, pink and white and skip one hole. <clears throat> okay. And you could see this on the outside edge. Here there are two blue beads between the beads I'm adding and here is only one blue bead. This is what's seen on the outer circle. Okay. <clears throat> then what I need is white, pink and white. Okay. Pay attention, I'm exiting from here and I'm going here inside. Ok, 
Okay. Take the pink one, skip one, go in the following. Skip one blue bead, I mean, but go in the next hole. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now I'm ready. And uh, if something's not working well, if you have too much space between your last beads or less space, this means that you somehow skipped a hole or on the opposite, okay? So just check your work if you have any problems. Okay, and now I'm going to do my inner circle. I have eight purple uh, pink beads in the center and I want to add white beads between them, okay? Okay guys, and I'm adding here my last 8 white bead and now what I'm going to do is reinforce my work here, okay? I will go around through all of my beads. Okay guys, and now I have this. This is nice and tight. And now what I'm going to do in my next step is go in my outside row here and I want to exit also through one of my white beads. Okay, and I want to add three white beads here. Okay, and I'm going through the other white bead and through the center. This is what I do. And I pull. And you see how this, uh, this uh, pink bead pops up from this side. Okay, this will be the front side of my element. Now I'm going through this blue bead and through the white here in this direction and pull. And I'm going to take three white beads and I'm also going back through the white and through the pink that's in the center of my work and pull. Then skip the next blue bead, go here in the center through my herringbone and exit out of my next white bead. And here what I need are three white beads. Go back to the center of my work, just like that. And I pull. And now guys, I will show you one more time. And then I will let you do this until the end of this row by yourself. So now I'm finishing half of my work, okay. This is half for four flowers, half of it, and here I need to do four more. I will do them off camera and I'll be back. You pause this video, do them and meet me.
Okay guys, and I'm here where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And I'm adding them here, forming my last flower. And this also pops up from this side, this pink in the middle. Okay, then what I want to do is go through these beads. By the way, these elements look so cool, even like that, and you could use them in so many projects, okay? Now, what I do is that I go here through all the central three beads of my flower that I just added, and now I'm here, I'm exiting between those two side white beads and I need to add one blue bead and go here in those blue beads like that and then here between my side blue beads okay one blue go here like that Go to the center, one blue, go through all of those blue beads and to the center of your work, one blue, go here, and here between these blue beads, and add one blue bead. Okay, and now I'm going to continue until I'm up to here. Okay guys, and now this is what I have, and in my next step, I will go in this central white bead. By the way, this element looks good, even like that, okay? And I'm going to take two blue beads, go through this one here, then take two more blue beads, go through this white bead that's sticking out. Then two more blue beads go in this blue. Two more blue beads go in the central white. Two blue beads go here in this blue. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this. In this row, I'm adding only blue beads and I'm connecting the white one that's sticking out with the blue ones that I added in my previous row. Okay, and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm adding my last two beads from this row and now it's look a little bit curly, but don't worry, in my next row I will fix everything, okay? So in your in my next row I'm gonna be adding only one bead at each flower, okay? I'm going through all of those blue beads and I wanna reach the top of my next flower. Okay guys, and now I went through here and I'm at the top of my next flower and I'm going to take one blue bead and go through all of your of those beads in this direction and pull, okay, then go through the following two blue beads and exit at the top of your next flower take just one blue bead and go here in this direction through as many beads as you can 
let's say three beads. Okay. Then I'm going in the following two beads like that. Taking just one blue bead and going in one movement through as many beads as I can. Okay. Then in the next two. Take one and go here. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last blue bead from this row. And what I want to do next off camera is to go around the edges of my element to make them stay uh, smooth and nice. And I'll do this and I'll be back to continue. Okay guys, and I went around the edges of my work. And now what I want to do is attach my clasp. Okay. And I'm going to attach it. So you see here I'm, I'm one bead after this angle bit that's to the inside, okay? And I'm going to take three white beads. Then I'm going to take my clasp, but you see I will attach it in this direction because um, this is uh, where my beads are popping up from this side, okay? The pink beads in the center of my flowers, okay? Then what I do is that I slide this down, take three more white beads and go in the same place. One bead after the angle bead here, okay? And I'm going here inside my work, okay? And now it's time for reinforcement, okay? Going back here in the center through those beads here, um, if you can't do this, it's time to use your pliers. I still can do it by hand, but if you can, the pliers are your salvation, your option. Okay, and now you could do this several times, as many times as you can. And now guys, it's time to make a knot and cut my thread, okay. Now I'm exiting here, okay, and I want to make here a loop and a knot, okay. First time make a loop and then I go once, then I go second time through the loop I've made. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay, here. And I pull. And then I'm going in the following seed bead. Let's say here. And I'm going to cut my thread. Okay, and the beginning of my bracelet is ready, okay? And now I will make one more element, the same thing, but I won't cut my thread this time and I won't add a clasp to it and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have the same element here and I wanna connect it to this one, okay? And you see guys, my thread is exiting here out of one of my blue angle bead that I added at my last step, at my last row. Okay, and I'm going to take one white bead. And as I'm exiting from this blue bead in this direction, I will go in my other element in the same bead that's sticking out, the same blue bead that's sticking out. Okay, and I will pull. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to take one more blue bead 
and I will go back in circle through this blue here that I was exiting out of in the beginning and you see what I have a loop with two beads in the middle and I'm going to pull and then what I do is that I'm going to reinforce this and this is called right angle weave three beads uh, sorry four beads uh, connected in something like a cross okay two are the blue beads of my elements and two are newly added white beads okay and when I reinforce it okay like that I'm going to go through all of those blue beads like that in this direction here it's a little bit difficult because I was reinforcing my work that is why you could use pliers if you want okay and I'm putting down there in description links to where you could buy supplies pliers and so on okay and now I'm going to take one white bead I'm still exiting out of this blue bead that's sticking out and I'm going through the other bead that's sticking out in my next element and I'm taking just one white bead and I'm going back here in circle through this one like that and I'm going to reinforce it once and make a knot Okay guys, and I'm here and I want to make a knot. I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going through the loop I've made and you could go twice if you want. Then what I do is that I pull and I go in my next seed bead. Remember never to cut next to a knot, but always go in your next seed bead and then cut your thread. And now guys, I'm going to continue this, adding more and more elements. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you uh, how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continue beading the same way, this is what I have. And now I'm attaching here my last element. Okay, I attach this part. Now I'm exiting out of here. It is all the same. I'm attaching it the same way I showed you before. I'm taking one white bead. And as I'm exiting from this blue here, I'm going back in circle through the other blue bead. I take one blue. And go back through this blue here, okay? Like that. Okay. Now I go here around those beads, like that, reinforcing my work. And now, guys, what I want to do is exit from this side with my thread and attach the jump ring okay so now i'm exiting out of this bead and what i want to do is go here in this direction and then here
Okay guys, and I'm here at the other side, and now what I want to do is go one beat before the angle beat here, okay? If this is the angle beat, I'm going one beat before that, okay? This is where my thread is, and I'm taking three, um, six white beats. Okay, I have my six here, and I'm taking my jump ring. And then what I want to do is go in the same place here. Okay, like that. And I will go in circle several times. Here it is, and now I will go through some beads in this direction. I'm exiting here, and now what I want to do is make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop you've made. Make sure you're between those two beads where you started your knot from and pull. And then in my next step, what I want to do is go through the following C bead and then I'm going to cut my thread. And now guys, my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my lacy dainty bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos or fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies and uh, a link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.